Hello and welcome to Honey Peace Norkets. It is seven, exactly seven days after the first Varomet treatment. These are other hives than in the video. But let's see what the results is. How many mites have dropped so far. Let's have a look. I'm gonna pull the bottom board. There's some kind of caterpillar here. Don't know what species it is. There it is. But it's, I think it's fun. There's a screen in the bottom, which the varroa mites can fall through. That is a mite. Those are mites. Those are mites. And don't mind the quantity now. But these mites were all on the bees or in the brood. And that's just after one week. You can imagine how big those mites are compared to a bee. That can go back. While taking care of the caterpillar. Next one. Hold on. Need two hands for it. That's it. This is what you can see under uh, the in the on the row board on the on the underneath the hive. Pollen, freshly built wax by the bees, bees lag, mites, more varroa. remnants of larvae, pollen. A bee, an old bee. More pollen, yellow this one. Hey lady, I'm coming to check it out. Orange pollen, more mites, brown pollen. Here, same picture. Sorry about the noise, it's rush hour, I guess. Mites, pollen. Those translucent little bits, those are freshly uh, 
uh, bees sweat uh, wax from a gland and it has the form of a little plate those translucent things are that, are that some bees lacks quite a bit of varroa on it a wing a crushed earworm Imagine what harm those mites could do when they were still on the bees. So it's good to cut them off. I don't. Uh, I don't mind about uh, how many mites there are now, or if one hive has more or little uh, mites on the on the bottom board. But. And that's because um, it's just done the first treatment. Um, I'm going to do uh, the second treat treatment today. And the fallen mites can still be in the brood on some hives. It's just about where they are at the moment of treating. So, thanks for watching. Hope to see you soon. How do?